we live in Long Beach and love all the diversity and culture the city has to offer. Recently, the New York Post ranked Long Beach number four on its list, the best places to live in the U.S. There are many colorful parades and festivals. Great local restaurants, neighborhood coffee shops, and unique stores. An extensive bike path system that goes along the beach and throughout the city. Also, we get out to enjoy nature at all the parks and beaches. And we like to find community activities in the Long Beach and LA area that are inexpensive or free. Come along as we explore the city. This is our urban adventure. In this episode, we first feature the beautiful Nature Center. Next, we view a fascinating exhibit at Made by Millworks Boutique and Art Space. Last segment is Everything Chocolate, from a chocolate festival to the artisans who make delicious creations. In our second segment, we went to an art show at Made by Millworks. Made by Millworks is a unique place with a retail store featuring items by 150 local Long Beach designers, plus a gallery and artist studio in the back. They even use it for public events. Our new mayor, Robert Garcia, held a community meeting in the gallery space. We met up with Renee Tanner, who curated the recent exhibit, Suspended Disbelief. She explained some of the ways the maid space works. Made at Millworks at present is what is referred to as a, uh, a co-use space. So there's lots of different kinds of users within this 12,500 square foot facility. My name is Mimi Masher and I'm the founder of Masher Couture here in the back of Millworks, made by Millworks. <laughs> is that etched in there? Yes. Right, now we're working on a Long Beach clock. The paper is on there so things don't, the materials don't catch on fire. Oh, so we'll peel that off and it'll be a black clock. Right. And that's spray paint on birchwood. This is spray paint on canvas. We can etch artist work into wood canvases. Neat. The ideas are really uh, just limited to your yeah, creativity. Creativity, two of my favorite little Long Beach earrings. Those are a new product I'm working on. And I do everything from the design to even poking the holes into my car to take my own photos. This is our space, so there's seven artists in here, and we have our own little station, but it's a common space. And so we have what what's called an artist collective inside the bigger facility. These are our studios, Stephanie, Renee, Jorge, and Sydney, and I'm going to the back of my studio empty right now. <laughs> but, uh, it's a great space to bond with other artists in Long Beach and to be mm -hmm. part of this community 
that's growing. Oh what God. makes this work is there's a very uh, strong backer, and that's Millworks. Gotcha. Michelle Molina is the backer. I love the colors. Mm -hmm. It reminds me a little bit of Keith Haring. As part of our program here, we're putting on exhibitions out there mm -hmm. in the gallery space. Right. And that works out well for us because uh, we have audience every day. <laughs> People yes. see it that aren't even expecting to see mm -hmm. art. The show, Suspended Disbelief, came about as a uh, solution to a dilemma. And the dilemma was, how can we put a, a major artwork installation exhibition inside a working living retail store? And we have a great ceiling grid out there that's super sturdy. And it was there's a ton of warehouse space up there not being utilized. And I invited artists specifically with backgrounds and some sort of established portfolio and exhibition record for hanging things. I mean, almost everything in that in the show is from something that was discarded, which is pretty interesting. And I think it's really cool when you take something that's kind of mundane and everyday and you breathe new life into it. It gives it a different perspective. Well, there you go. That's yeah. the artist thinking. That's exactly. what that's what we like. We spoke to Roxana Martinez about her work at the Suspended Disbelief Show. Generally, I start by making the basic structures like the uh -huh. of the, the doilies. And I have like, I don't know, a hundred pieces that I make. Oh my and then gosh. from there, I figure out how they will come together based on color, the design of the, of the crochet pattern. Mm -hmm. I decide which one will go with what. I hold up a smaller piece and then I take a picture and then oh, I see neat. it's like, okay, this is how this looks. But uh -huh. then I like um, grab another one. You get to be molding and yeah. engineering together yeah. in an artistic way, yeah. which which is very beautiful. And then the installation becomes yeah. another engineering portion where it's like uh -huh. this one, it, it balances out with this other one. Artist Chen Hung Chen had beautiful hanging wire sculptures. That's how I attach it, so I leave uh -huh. it. You know, so it gives it detail. Yeah. This almost looks like a wasp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they are really durable. Because, oh. Isn't that pretty all the layers? I didn't notice all the layers. It's like a... How long would that take? Oh, a month or two. Yeah. It's, it's, this took me uh, three, four months. Wow. This work is by artist Tracy Weiss. Emily Madigan explained her unique artwork to us. I made a couple shades for different right. people just as gifts. Right. And then I had so many, so I did this for my own house. Neat. <laughs> so when I came in to see the space, uh, we talked about hanging them like somewhere here. Right. But this just seemed to be like the most fitting.
I like that light installation there, Sasha. That's art also. Awesome. Sasha, look over there at those. 